the pre-emergent application is going to be your first application of the season. In this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know to get ready to dominate in the 2023 lawn care season. Let's get out of the weeds. So I'd like to thank you guys for coming back to the first video of 2023 uh, in preparation uh, to getting our lawn care season started. And so before I get into the content today talking about pre-emergence, I want to talk a little bit about uh, this channel and what you guys can expect. So the purpose of this channel is just to simplify lawn care and to make it easy to understand and easy to maintain uh, your program and give you a nice beautiful yard without having to be in your yard every day throwing down stuff. What I do here in this channel is I weekly document just what I'm doing around my lawn um, with I'll walk you guys through uh, throwing down weed control, fungicides, mowing, fertilizing. I cover every little thing that I do here on a week to week basis uh, in the lawn. All with this in mind to kind of show you that you can have a beautiful, attainable lawn if you just follow a few simple steps and learn a little bit about lawn care. Now, I am located in central Indiana, so I'm dealing with cool season grass. This is going to be People who are living about midway up the country and higher are typically going to be uh, people that could have cold season grass. And so this will mostly apply to you. I also try to stay away from buying like real specialty products, things that are hard to find. I try to stick with everything I get in this channel, anything I put down on my lawn. I try to be able to make it so it's something readily available that you could just walk into a hardware store near you grab it, come home, and throw it down on your lawn. So first off, what is a pre-emergent? Now a pre-emergent herbicide is going to be what you put down on your lawn that's going to try to stop the weeds from emergence. So it's before that you even see a weed in your lawn, it's going to take it out before it emerges and then you see it. The other kind of herbicides that you'll typically see are post-emergent. Now that's whenever you look in your lawn, you see a dandelion or whatever, any kind of weed, and you go, you buy something, spray on it, and it kills it. So the pre-emergent is such a vital application to your lawn care because it's going to go and keep a lot of the weeds that would typically show up in your lawn from ever even showing up. And so that way, the stuff that does show up, it'll be much more manageable. So in my opinion, the pre-emergent application at the start of our lawn care season is the most vital application that you're going to have the entire year. And it's really going to kind of set the stage uh, for you to have a really great lawn care season. Now, typically pre-emergents are going to mostly be dealing with taking out grassy weeds. Now, there's two typical type of categories for weeds that you'll typically hear. That's grassy weeds and broadleaf weeds. Now, grassy weeds, the main most popular one that you see pre-emergence targeting is crabgrass. So typically with your grassy weeds, those are going to be the weeds that have the appearance of grass. So a lot of times they can be a little bit harder to identify just from looking at a distance because a lot of times they can blend in pretty well with our good cool season grass. Now pre-emergence don't just target crabgrass but they will target some of your other grassy weeds like you'll get your foxtail, some will do orchard grass, goose grass, there's a wide variety of grassy weeds that we'll see. It's just that mostly for cool season grass, the big one you always hear people having issues with is crabgrass. Crabgrass is kind of like the big one. And I think even what happens sometimes is we hear so much crabgrass gets put in our heads that sometimes uh, we think crabgrass is everything. We see a grassy weed kind of in our, our lawn and we think it's crabgrass when technically it's probably not. It's just I think crabgrass probably gets a little bit mislabeled just because of how popular it is. Um, because a lot of the weeds and stuff, especially with grassy weeds, they can look very similar. So sometimes it can be hard to identify them. But just know that with this pre-emergent application, you're looking for mostly those one those weeds that look like grass. The broadleaf weeds are typically going to be weeds that do not look like grass. They're going to have funky shaped leaves or flowers, like a dandelion, for example, how it just spreads out and is real different looking. So it's unmistakable that hey, that thing shouldn't be in my lawn. And so. Broadleaf weeds are a much different thing. So for this, we're gonna be focusing on our grassy weeds. So when looking at pre-emergence, there's gonna be three 
typical active ingredients that are readily available for us homeowners. And those ingredients are going to be prodiamine, dithiapyr, and pendimethalin. Now, all three of those have different brand names, so you will see them labeled different things, but the active ingredients is probably going to be one of those three. Now, with prodiamine, its brand name is going to be Barricade. Sometimes if you look up Barricade herbicide, that's going to be prodiamine. Uh, Dithiapyr, you're going to see it a lot of times called Dimension. And then Pendimethalin, you'll see that often called Halts. Um, now, they, uh, now, that is just the brand names typically that you're going to see, but you can find those active ingredients in lots of different other brands of product. So for the most part, each of the three are going to work in very similar ways. How pre-emergence typically work is they are creating a vapor barrier along kind of the surface of your grass. And what they're ha what's happening is any weed seeds you have, as it goes and it starts to come and emerge into your lawn to show up, this barrier is going and it's breaking it up, preventing the weed from emerging into your lawn. So pre-emergence do not actually kill the weed seeds. They just prevent them from actually emerging into your lawn. And so just kind of know that little bit of a difference. There's just, it's creating a barrier. And so all three of those are gonna work very similar, just with some slight variances between each of them. Next is when do we put down our pre-emergence? For us with cool season, we want to start putting down our pre-emergent application whenever our soil temperatures start to get between 50 and 55. As we're kind of starting to ramp up into the spring and things start warming up a little bit, that's gonna be the perfect time. Now, you may be thinking, how do I know what the soil temperature is? Well, you, you could take, you could get the thermometer and measure it and all that stuff, but there's even easier way. If you just go to, to search Greencast Soil Temperatures, and you go to the site, you can type in your zip code or address, and it'll take you and show you what the soil temperatures are in your current area. And then you can even go and look kind of at a historical data and find, uh, like in the previous years, and find where the perfect date was for where it typically soil temperatures are between 50 and 55. So for me here in central Indiana, that date a lot of times is, is typically getting towards like the end of March into April. And so that's kind of our go time. Now for people that live south of Indiana, you, yours may be earlier. And for those of you that are maybe up north, uh, you might be a little bit later than what I am. And so we're all gonna have slight variances. Now the reason that, that 50 to 55 uh, degree soil temperature is so important is because that's the temperature when weeds start germinating in our lawn. So everything's kind of just lying pretty dormant right now. We're not going to see too much activity in our cool season lawns right now. But what's going to happen as the temperatures start to rise, things are going to start getting more active and that's going to be when all your weed seeds and stuff that are in your lawn start saying, hey, it's go time. And they're going to keep ramping it up all throughout the year and then this is why the perfect application of that pre-emergent, getting that timing right, is just gonna be absolutely critical. Now the different pre-emergents will come in two different forms, either granular or liquid. So for this channel, I'm going to stick with granular for most of the products that I put down throughout the year. And this includes the pre-emergent uh, application. I just feel that from, I've done both, but I feel that just if you're just starting and getting into this, granular is a much kind of easier way just to throw it down. Uh, you just have to get a seed spreader, which I typically recommend one of the Scott's seed spreaders just because it has an easy dial knob and you can just load it up and go. Also, with whatever pre-emergent that you go with for your lawn, they are typically going to want to be watered in with about a half inch of water. Now, for those of us with uh, irrigation systems, it may not even be turned on yet whenever you're getting ready to do your application, or you may not have your sprinklers and hoses ready to roll. So what you want to typically do is try to time it up with your forecast to when you're going to be getting some rain in the next couple days. Lastly, do not get confused by the labeling of stuff that you see in the hardware stores. So many times when I walk through a hardware store, they have stuff out sitting out ready to buy of things that aren't even close to the season of yet which we're going to be putting it down and so pay attention 
because for example, one thing you're gonna see readily available in hardware stores here, if not now, very, very soon, is you're gonna start seeing Scott's weed and feed out. And what there's gonna be on that is a lot of times people can get confused and think that, hey, this is a pre-emergent that's gonna help take out the crabgrass. Well, no, Scott's weed and feed typically is going to be uh, targeting a lot of your dandelions and it's gonna be a post-emergent uh, weed control. So it's not what you want to put down as your pre-emergent because it's going to be more for your post-emergent. Now, when you're looking for pre-emergents in the stores, a lot of times you're going to be looking for like a crabgrass preventer. Um, so for like Scott's, for example, it actually says halts. It'll say halts and then crabgrass. And so that's the brand name for pendimethalin. And so that's kind of the key things, really to dive deep and take a look. Just take a quick peek. If you're unsure, take a quick peek at the uh, active ingredients in the bag. You'll see it typically on the bottom of the bag or on the back of the bag. And you can just see one of those ingredients. Um, now, you'll, you typically find one of those three ingredients and then you'll know, okay, I got a pre-emergent. Now in the future, I will put out a video showing me putting down my pre-emergent application and I'll walk through setting up the spreader and just walking it through step by step to show how easy it is uh, to put down a pre-emergent application. For now, between now and then, I, what I want you guys to do is pay attention to what your soil temperatures are and start to kind of get a target date in mind of when you probably should be in the window to throw it down. Now, everything's not gonna work out perfect because lawn care, we deal with the weather. So everything's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna have a day that's hot, a day that's cold, but just try to get it right. The window isn't just, oh, I gotta hit it this specific day. If not, I'm in trouble. No, you have a, a good gap there uh, to get it in. I just wanna try to get you guys ready and prepared to start thinking about, okay, I maybe need to start looking for that next time I'm in the hardware store, look to see if they got any pre-emergence out yet, go grab a bag so you have it ready to ready to roll. Um, and so that way you can be prepared whenever the time comes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time when we get out of the weeds and into a beautiful lawn.